Hello Pisces, welcome to your August 2019 He Said, She Said reading. Thank you for joining us. My name is Michelle. My name is Richard. We'll be doing a He Said, She Said style reading today, which means I'll be reading as you, Pisces. Richard will be reading as the person that you are dealing with here in August. And depending on how you identify, either side could resonate. So please keep that in mind. Okay, Pisces, let's take a look. I'm using Myths and Mermaids this month, so it's it's nice watery energy for uh, for my uh, Pisces out there. And what I got two came flying out for you, so I took them both. The first one is the Manta Ray Mermaid, and it, it's a, a quite an interesting card. You'll see this mermaid here. She leads this group of majestic looking manta rays through the sea. She is uh, wise enough to trust and befriend these intelligent creatures in spite of their legendary reputation for ferocity. So the message with this one, Pisces, is about uh, kind of making friends with your enemies, really, or keeping your enemies close. There's a feeling here about uh, gossip or misrepresentation. Hmm. Now, I don't know if this is someone talking about you or you talking about someone, but we'll see where that goes. The, we also have the jellyfish portal. And, of course, when you think of jellyfish, you, you'll know that they are uh, uh, very much a, a feeling here of being in the flow, carried by the ocean current. And the, their luminosity, their light, brings brings that light to an otherwise darkened ocean. So it's, it's a beautiful card, but it's also about, uh, when you think about jellyfish, they are someone that normally does go with the flow. That's the energy I'm getting around you. Normally going with the flow, but there's an energy here of needing to stand up, not sitting idly by fighting for what you believe is right. Now, it may be unpopular, but there's something that you need to say that deserves to be voiced. Someone might even be trying to take advantage, Pisces. I'm getting this kind of energy here of there's things being said here that are not exactly true, and you have to stand up for yourself. Now, this is either you or someone around you. Now, Pisces, Richard has drawn from the Dark Goddess the card of Maeve. So Maeve is about determination. Uh, she's the archetypal leader of our Irish origin, well known for her determination. And this card is about taking charge of your life, so being, being the leader in your own life. Okay. So again, we've got that energy of standing up for one's rights, standing up for yourself, especially if there's things being talked about that are not true. So let's see. <coughs> We will, uh, and if this one doesn't resonate with you guys, don't forget, we have our He Said, She Said style readings on the Soulful Repair channel playlist. And those are, are done in the same style, but they're not sign dependent. So you may check those out as well if you haven't already. Okay, let's get started with your reading. We'll start with the status of this relationship. We'll take a look at how you are feeling about this person that you're dealing with might even be a group of people. Let's take a look at the strengths of this relationship, the weaknesses. We'll take a look and see what you should continue to do in this case, what you should not be doing, and what is the outcome here. I'm going to lay down the same cards, Pisces, status of a relationship, how this person feels about you, Pisces, strengths, weaknesses, what uh, this person should keep doing, what they should stop doing, and the outcome if nothing changes. Okay, the status. The Knight of Swords. So there's somebody coming in here quickly. Fast action. And this is the, this communication. So I can't help but feel that somebody's coming in here with some information and it could potentially be misunderstood or mis misconstrued in, in some way. All right, so looking over here, status of the relationship, we have the death card in reverse, which speaks to an inability or a stubbornness to change. Now, how you are feeling about this person? We have the Six of Swords. So again, we have cards of movement here. The Six of Swords speaks about movement away from a difficult situation. So there's 
taking action here to, to get over some obstacles. There may have even been conflict between you and this person or this group of people. But I do feel that you're hoping to move past that, move beyond it and uh, get to more uh, stable karma energy around this person. All right, so looking over here at how this person feels about you, Pisces. We have the Eight of Wands in the reverse, which speaks to miscommunication. Mm. You know, we call these the arrows of love, and when they're in the reverse, their arrows are missing their mark. Yeah, I'm wondering what's being said here, Pisces. The strength here is the star. So I like this because there's an opportunity for healing. If you've gotten... I don't know, I, I feel like there's there's conflict around this person now, but it's a misunderstanding. Someone's gotten the wrong idea, but there's a, a chance at, at healing and, and getting to a better place with this person. Yeah, I'm getting stubbornness. Stubbornness on that side? Yeah, stubbornness, uh, stubbornness from changing. You know, they are the way they are and they're, they're very, they, they want to stand stand up for what they believe in. But I don't know if they're right to do so because mm. they could be they could be wrong they about their wrong about their assertions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's always dangerous, isn't it? it I mean, is it's good dangerous. to be it's good to be stubborn. It's good to stand up for what you believe in. But what if you believe in what if you what you believe in isn't right? Mm. Mm. All right, let's take a look at the strengths over on this side. Well, we have the the four of cups in the reverse, which I like because it means that this person may end up being open to offers at some point. It's just that it seems that at the present time, they're a bit stubborn, a bit, a bit unwilling to change. But the strength is underneath. There is that, uh, there is something that can be salvaged here, I think. Mm. Let's see what the weakness is. The Page of Pentacles. Okay. So it is about news. This communication seems to be about a practical matter. Now, I actually want to get one more card on that because I want to find out what this news is. The Page of Pentacles as the weakness. Whoa. Okay, we've got way too many cards there. <clears throat> I'm not going to accept those. Like six came out, but let's take a look. Okay, we'll take that one. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, more money, uh, you know, more, uh, more, mm. or more, uh, more practical things going on here. Yeah, someone might have had their hopes dashed, is what I'm picking up from Spirit. They were hoping for an offer that was going to lead to more money, if we're talking about a, a, a job situation here, or if we're talking about love, it's certainly a, an offer that will get them to that next level. When I see this Nine of Pentacles, I normally see it as a card of someone who's self-made, a self-made individual. But because it's with this page, I do feel that it's, it's more about an offer to get to this point, something that will lead someone to feeling more... Uh, I get uh, abundant, more stability around them, having what they need in terms of a comfortable kind of lifestyle, taking it to the next level. All right, looking over here at the weakness for this person, we have the four of wands in the upright. So if this was an offer of love made to somebody else, mm. I'm getting the sense that the weakness here is the fact that they're already in a, some sort of stable relationship. Yeah. Yeah, I get a misunderstanding. Someone might have misconstrued someone's uh, friendship, kindness as something more. Yeah, I mean, this could be the person they're interested in as well. Mm. Mm. Let's have a look and see what you should continue to do here, Pisces. And remember, either side can resonate. We've got the magician in the upright. So it is about, uh, when we're speaking about, uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting an energy around this of uh, not, not letting this knock you down. Like if this isn't the right fit or this person is, is uh, uh, it's not going to lead to 
this energy of feeling like you, you have a, a lot going on, a lot of good things in your life. It doesn't mean give up on the dream. It's really a, a call to action. It speaks of being able to manifest the, the type of life that you want, but I, I can't help but feel it's more independently, so it's not relying on an offer from someone else to get you there. It's more about self self-fulfillment. It's more about uh, uh, providing the opportunity for, to grow and to achieve this level of success independently of another. Yeah, the energy I'm getting around this person is Pisces. I, I feel like you're interested in somebody, mm. but they're giving you mixed messages. That's why that's what I'm getting with this eight of eight of wands in the reverse. Mm. I mean, I think they are in a stable relationship, yet they seem to be open to offers. Possibility and excuse the uh, excuse the uh, door. Doorbell. Yes. All right. So let's take a look at what this person should keep doing. We've got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, so they should be they should be knocking back offers of new starts because they're already in a, a stable relationship. I'm 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 thinking here, but the thing is that they give the the appearance to other people mm. that they are open to offers. So Pisces, you could be interested in somebody who is partnered with somebody else who's actually in a stable relationship but is maybe a bit flirtatious possibly mm. or gives the impression that they are open to offers from other people yeah yeah let's take a look at what you should stop doing here pisces we've got the four of pentacles in reverse i get this as is focusing on the the loss of potential for, for earning money is what I'm getting. I feel Pisces the energy around you if this is your side of the table here that is resonant with you is that you're really hoping to get along further in your life no matter what age you are so you're really looking at uh, future success being open to the possibility that there's something else in your life, something more than what you have already. And there's this energy around wanting to achieve that quickly. I get wanting this fast, but I feel you've hit a roadblock around this other person because you might have been looking at them as that opportunity to get you there, to get to that place, but I don't feel it's forthcoming and I feel the energy around you is one that is focused more on the monetary side of things than I get, I get shortcuts. I get an energy around this of, of wanting to move on quickly to that next level to get you here. It's like you want, you want this without putting in the, the in-between stages the work that's required to, yeah. to get here. Yeah, very much an energy of being able to snap your fingers and, and have and, what you want. And have what you want. Because you may be looking around at other people and say, well, they have it. Mm. Why haven't I got that yet? No. I, I really want that and, and I feel like I should have that now. It's kind of that kind of haste that I'm picking up around you. Yes, and I'm getting that this person probably led you on a little bit. It's possible. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at what this person should stop doing. And we have the the Ten of Swords. I get this as betrayal, mm. a betrayal of a, of a current partner. So they, they should be stop. They should, well, it's pretty clear here. They should stop and entertaining new offers mm. of uh, giving new starts to people. And they should also stop betraying the person they're currently with. Mm. Stop giving mixed signals to, to partners, really, mm, yes. all around. All around, yes. Yeah. Let's have a look at the outcome. Okay, well, we've got the Ten of Cups. So it is about uh, having that emotional fulfillment, having that happiness. Yeah, and I can't help but think, Pisces, that maybe you're a little bit too focused on the practical money side of things, mm. and you're not looking closely enough at emotional fulfillment. Actually, what's going to really make you happy in the long term? Yes. I get the sense that this material wealth will be good for you in the short term, mm. but in the end, 
how much it will it really help you with your actual long-term happiness yeah I feel for you uh, you may already have this in your life the emotional side of things you may I get that Pisces you, yeah you may have had you, you've got the family already but you're starting to look around and think well I've, you know, I'm, I'm happy with my family. It's, it's not that you don't love your family. I feel you do very much love your family. But there's that side of you that thinks about the other side. What would it be like if I didn't have the family? What would, what would it be like if I was out there on my own and just had to deal with, with my own things and I didn't have all the responsibility of that? Uh, that's what I feel like this might be. Uh, focusing on yourself the individual you rather than uh, the family but forgetting how happy this family makes you feel you know in your search or your quest for maybe uh, yearning for the single life again or yearning for uh, having more money in your wallet because of course we all know when we're sing when we're single we have more money to to spend on luxury items that kind of thing but when we have a family we have a lot of commitments we can't really spend things on spa or um, going out to, and uh, uh, spending money on on lavish clothes and all of that we have we have a family to look after so i feel I feel that it's that kind of feeling around you, that underlying current, and we, we think of currents here with these manta ray and jellyfish cards, of just yearning for that little bit more in life, just that little bit more of an easier lifestyle, a hearkening back to uh, days when you didn't have so much responsibility on your plate. All right, looking over here at the outcome for this person, we have the nine of cups in the upright. So it's about wishes fulfilled for them as well. Yeah. But it's it all it's all about them realizing what kinds of mixed messages they've been giving to other people about what they've been up to and about what they truly want in their life as well mm. but look at the death card here in reverse as not being a bad thing because because i feel like what they have currently right now is is something stable and will end up fulfilling their wishes so the last thing they should do is is go about changing that so the advice for this person over here would be to stop giving mixed messages yeah <laughs> there's an energy here something that's being talked about now it could be amongst a group of friends, it could be co-workers, it could even be family members. So there's something that's being spoken about here, but it, it's not completely true. It's really a misunderstanding. People getting the wrong message and needing to set the record straight. It's possible, though, that there has been some responsibility for that uh, wrong message getting out there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where this is coming from exactly, but the, it's something to do with this action. Yeah. I feel that's the key. And anyway, there's a lot to clarify in part two. Yeah, we'll go into this further in depth. We'll see exactly what this action that's been taken here. I think it, as a result of this action, that leads to the gossip. Hmm. And I think it's something that you really have to kind of put the lid on really quickly before it escalates into a problem right that's the energy that i'm getting from spirit so we'll see where this goes in part two i hope that you join us there we'll be pulling out a lot more cards going a lot further in depth and pulling out some oracles and also doing a lenormand reading as well so i do hope that if this is resonating you join us in part two the link for that is below in the descriptions box if we don't see you there, we wish you the best. If you would like a personal reading with Richard and I, we're offering a special on the 30 minute one right now. You can email me for more information, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. And that email is also in the box below. Wishing you the best with this one, Pisces, and we'll see you in part two, or we will see you soon. Thank you, Pisces. Goodbye and good luck.